morning welcome to my youtube channel i welcome you to your space where you can be yourself when you can express yourself you can write down whatever troubles you to say hello to mm, make your suggestions for future content to make new fans or even find love why not providing that you follow a few simple rules such as being kind and polite towards each other and at this point let me remind you that if you like what you see and what you hear you're always welcome to subscribe like share and comment down below and of course hit the notification bell for future videos that's it i said <laughs> this god i really hate this part of you know but i have to do it i mean everybody else does it it's part of the game if i want to uh, exist if i want to evolve i have to keep reminding and of course thank you in advance for those of you who will choose to subscribe and do the rest of the stuff okay now let's get to the point well i'm kind of anxious anxious sorry for this because it's the first time somebody asks me for advice in public uh, as you know i'm not a professional uh, psychologist consultant or anything similar to um, to this field okay so uh, I guess I'm going to give my advice as a friend to a friend even though I don't know this girl and I don't know if Patricia okay Patricia is her name if Patricia is a real person or a fake account who chose me to play around but it doesn't matter let's use this example to communicate a, a certain problem because you know there are so many people out there who struggle within their relationships and this could be useful and even motivate them find the strength to cope with their problems so patricia uh reached out to me yesterday through my instagram account and in a few words she described me that she is in a relationship with a guy right now they are in a separation and she's not sure if she wants to keep this going she described me uh, she described her boyfriend as a very sensitive person a warm hearted person but full of insecurities plus uh, he's dealing with alcoholism um, which basically is what puzzles her so much she cannot take this any longer the main problem is that he uh, manipulates with her in so many ways in order to keep her around to help him with his problem with his addiction and it doesn't matter you know the rest of it is just would sound like you know gossip they had their good moments they had their bad moments but the problem is that he has this talent he's so cute she refers to him as a very cute person with a lot of sense of humor and he keeps manipulating manipulating with her to keep her as his 
lifeguard. And that's not fair. She feels sorry for him. She really wants to help him, but she can't know. But she can't uh, take this no longer. And she asks me, that simple. What would you do if you were me? Would you give him a second chance? Because I gave him a hundred chances. Honey, Patricia, I totally get it. I really understand. I feel you. And I know. And I'm sure that he is a very interesting person. He has this capacity to mesmerize with his character. Uh, I understand that he has this artistic personality which makes him very attractive to you. But you have to understand the thing. If he doesn't stand on his feet, you will never be able to help him. Never. And one day you will sink with him. It's not luck that I want you or to make this sound like an, like an order, you know, dump him. No, I understand that you love him, that you are so, so in love with him that you feel sorry for him but feeling sorry for someone someone who is actually a patient believe me sweetie you will not help him to my opinion you have to let him go you have to explain yourself and the reasons why you decided to let him go he must seek for professional help. Lying all the time, manipulating with you. He only buys time to continue this torment. And you know, those years will never come back. You just waste your youth, your health, your mental health. And I know it's difficult. I feel for you. But it's not getting any better. And you know it. So if you truly want to help yourself, stop lying to yourself that you are able to save him with your love. No, honey. No. I understand that you will miss him, that these kind of people are rare to be found, that he's very interesting. You will m terribly miss him. But there's no other way. You have to choose you instead of him. Because this kind of love is so selfish is one-sided love he should have protected you from himself and his addictions drinking manipulating no this is these signs are screaming toxic relationship it's a dead end street so I am wishing you good luck take your time prepare yourself pick the right words set this meeting 
and clear your intentions. And if he truly loves you, as you mentioned in your message, then he will uh, put himself into a clinic, visit a doctor, seek for professional help. And after he is done with this problem, he will return stronger and more confident to ask for a fresh start. It is then, it is then when you will realize if he truly loved you for what you are or it was an illusion because of his addiction. Thank you, Patricia. Regardless if you're real or not. Thank you for watching and I can't wait to read your comments. I am a simple person. Don't expect, you know, those complicated, those professional terms. I'm speaking like an ordinary person. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Love you all. Take care. And please spread love. Love can be contagious. Thank you.